Yellowstone Geyser's surprise eruption highlights little-known danger at Popular Park. A sudden eruption of steam in Yellowstone National Park's geyser basin that sent people running for safety as basketball-sized rocks flew overhead has highlighted a little-known danger that scientists hope someday will be able to predict. Tuesday's hydrothermal explosion at Biscuit Basin caused no injuries because dozens of people fled via boardwalk before the boardwalk collapsed. The blast sent rocks, steam, water and soil into the air according to a witness and a scientist who reviewed video footage of the incident. The eruption occurred in a park filled with geysers, hot springs and other hydrothermal features that draw millions of tourists each year. Some, like the famed Old Faithful, erupt like clockwork and are well understood by scientists who monitor the park's seismic activity. But the type of explosion this week is less common and less understood, and potentially more dangerous because it comes without warning. It underscores that even small events, and this one is relatively small in the scheme of events, though dramatic, can be really dangerous, said Michael Poland, principal scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. We've gotten pretty good at understanding the signs that a volcano is active and might erupt. We don't have the knowledge base for hydrothermal systems like the one at Yellowstone. Poland and other scientists are trying to change that with a new monitoring system recently installed at another of Yellowstone's geyser basins. The system measures seismic activity, deformation of the Earth's surface and low-frequency acoustic energy that can signal an eruption. Hydrothermal explosions are believed to be caused by blockages in a vast network of natural pipes beneath Yellowstone, Poland said. Blockages can cause pressurized hot water to instantly turn into steam and explode. Tuesday's explosion happened without much warning. Witness Vlada March, who captured the widely circulated video of the explosion, said steam began billowing out of Biscuit Basin and within seconds, it turned into this big thing. It exploded and turned into this black cloud that covered the sun. March tour guide Isaac Fisher told the Associated Press that he heard a hiss coming from Cliff Pool and told his group it was unusual. It sounded like a geyser erupting 60 to 70 feet, 18 to 21 meters, into the air for a few seconds and then, bah boom, he said. You feel the shockwave hit you in the chest and shake the bones in your chest, he said. The explosion was so powerful you could feel your legs shaking. You could feel the sidewalk shaking and you could feel everything shaking. He estimated the entire event lasted about 25 seconds as the plume of debris shot about 100 meters, 328 feet, into the air. I can't believe no one was hurt, Fisher said. There were huge basketball-sized rocks coming over our heads. Macha's mother, who was closest to the eruption, pulled her hoodie over her head and face and was not hurt, Fisher said. Some of the rocks thrown into the air were about a meter, 3.3 feet, across, Poland said. Yellowstone encompasses a large, dormant volcanic caldera that shows no signs of erupting anytime soon, but provides heat for the geysers, hot springs, mud pots and other hydrothermal features for which the park is famous. Although much rarer than geyser eruptions, hydrothermal vents occur frequently enough at Yellowstone to warrant study and a safety concern. Scientists don't know if they'll ever be able to figure out how to predict them, Poland said. For a geologist, seeing an earthquake firsthand is a boom. That's what happened in 2009, when Montana Tech geology professor Mike Stickney and several other geologists were near the site of Tuesday's explosion in Biscuit Basin.
Wow. Oh, people have a run. That's it. <laughs> 